So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, let's start with the kicking technique because it is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph a thing. And I think what really jumps out of the film room for me is his ability to get his foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. A lot of guys just don't even see it coming. And he doesn't discriminate. He'll attack that lead leg. He'll go to the body. Beautiful head kick upstairs as well. The technique is really what sets up everything to this guy's game. And his opponent certainly wary of what's coming back with those kicks tonight. This guy has lightning fast hand speed. His combinations come swiftly and from all angles. All right, talented fighter making the walk here tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense. Great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early. But if it doesn't materialize, go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down. One thing to look out for from him is his low kicks. He throws them with devastating power. And if you can't defend against them, he will kick the legs right out from under you. It doesn't take too many before you start to lose speed and punch it. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 219 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Monster! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 223 pounds. Fighting out of Bulldogors, Ukraine, the great! <laughs> and when the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this Great one. Great fight. Great. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Just missed with the left there. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Strong defense there to block the shot. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. Look at that, right to the temple. There's a single attempt. for the inverted triangle from side control. Now it's deeper. Getting tighter. Oh and my God! will do it! He got the choke for the tap. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep. Perfect technique, and ultimately, that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. And let's look at it from a different angle. Reverse triangle, perfectly executed for the submission victory. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory.
So there he is, your winner by submission. Huge result for him here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Off of this contest at two minutes, five seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a reverse triangle. The well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though, is all about the celebration after getting the finish that he so sought. Coming in here tonight, you see how happy his coaches are, his training partners. This is going to be a fun night for this team and one that they have richly deserved.